Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium for a big matchup. Excuse me. Big matchup. It's the 12th ranked in the state, Cambridge Ringe and Latin Falcons, and the second ranked Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, you got two of the top 15 in the state going at it. Doesn't get much bigger than that. No, it doesn't. And this will be a big challenge for the Brockton Boxers to see if they can take down Cambridge Ridden Latin, as you know, have been state champs very recently. So this will be a big test for our boxers. A couple of big tests in the next few weeks, including this game. Super Bowl Sunday, February 4th. The boxers take on the fifth ranked Newton North Tigers. The Newton North Tigers are the only loss Cambridge Ridge and Latin has on the year. That one was a blowout. Yeah, they had a tough time with Newton North in their defensive uh, scheme. There's a good block by Abu Kaba down low. Azor to Jalen Lee. Lee to Azor. Thought about the three drives inside. Kaba from the charity stripe is short. Oak and Lola putting it up hard to the basket and out of play. Yeah, that what Oak and Lola did, that was a tough shot to do go up for the rebound, but just try to tap it back off the backboard into the uh, basket. He got good height on the uh, jump, just couldn't quite finish it. This is number 21, Adrian Williams. Williams back and forth with Kai Smith. Now it's Williams back to Smith. Smith to Jonathan Senazar. Three on the shot clock. And fouls. Gee, that, that was a nice block. I didn't see who, uh, what boxer got his hands on it. It's a catch and shoot. One second on the shot clock for Ringe and Latin and a shot clock violation indeed called as Senazar couldn't get a shot up in time. Good defense by the boxes there. Cambridge just couldn't find a good shot. Marcus Azor to Abu Kaba. Kaba working his way inside, gives it up to Oaken Lola just inside the three point line. His shot no good. Kai Smith with the rebound. I like how uh, Oaken Lola went in for the rebound. Three from the corner is good for number four. Hakan West, and the Falcons are on the board first. Oak and Lola, the big man for three, in and out. Brought down by Senazar. Would have been nice to see the big man hit that shot. He actually started the last, last home game hitting that shot. Senazar in the corner, out to Adrian Williams. Williams stops, pops, long two is good. Five nothing, the Falcons on top with five and a half to go in the first quarter. Abu Kaba driving inside to the bucket uh, and his easy layup, no good. Exactly, you gotta finish those. He just didn't go, go up strong enough to the basket, he's gotta finish those. You see it right here on the replay. Well, you'll see that shot. The corner three from Senazar. And he's out there too. We have no good but fouled by Oak and Lola. So at the line is number 15, Andrew Analyst, the 5'10 senior. And it was good on his first attempt. Six nothing Falcons over the Boxers. This is the longest the Boxers have gone without scoring in a game this season. Azor with the rebound. Marcus Azor to Jalen Lee. Lee working his way inside now to Kaba. Kaba to Azor. Azor fouled by Elliot, uh, Elliot, uh, Kai Smith, excuse me. And 
Jerice Harris is going to inbound the ball for the boxers. Azor back to Harris. Kaba down low to Oak and Lola, who is hit in a nice spinorama type hook shot. Yeah, nice adjust. Yeah, nice adjustment on the defensive coverage that Oak and Lola did. Turned it around, nice little turnaround shot. For the second consecutive game, Sonny Oak and Lola has the boxers' first points. Eight to two, the Falcons on top. Harris all the way in. Nice move by Harris. But the shot didn't go. Senazar, long two is good. Yeah, that's West out there. It's a second hit. 10 to two, Falcons on top as we take a look. You can see there. Akan West's Squared, long yep. two, almost squared up nicely, yeah. Got a good good form on his jump shot. Box is gonna have to get somebody out on him. Now Brockton working the full court press. Cambridge able to break it, working his way in. His number 15, his shot good, Andrew Analyst. Brockton down by 10 with three and a half minutes to go. In the first quarter, it's 12 to two, Cambridge on top. Armbar called against God West, the 5'8 junior guard. Azor to Oaken Lola, over to Jalen Lee. Lee, long two is good. Yeah, nice, nice shot by Lee. Nice little backhand dribble. Squared up nicely, hit the shot. These are getting his hand tangled in with the ball, and now West three is good. Akan West is on fire so yeah, far yeah. in the first quarter. Yeah, he's enjoying it early on here. 15 to four, boxers down by 11. Kaba three, no good. Wide right, and the air balled it out of play. 244 to go in the first quarter. Miles, we haven't seen the boxers struggle this much off the bat in a game this season. Yeah, it's been it's been a little been a long time and I think they're just a little nervous right now because they're playing Cambridge. That's the only answer I, I could give you. Count it and one for Jonathan Senazar who was fouled as he was going up by Marcus Azor. Centers are good for the three-point play. 18 to four the score. And the boxers are gonna make some changes. Yvonne Reed and Junior Montero coming into the game. Okamoto spin around shot, no good. Lee tried to throw it on the rebound and it bounced off of the rim into the support holding the backboard up. Yeah, he, he kind of helped that by grabbing the rim. It sprung the ball. You'll see him grab the rim right there and shut the ball shot right back up once it made contact with the rim. Eldon Terry into the game. He's in alone, and he oh. thought about the dunk. Changed his mind to a layup halfway through the air and couldn't decide between the two. Harris inside for Terry. Terry out to Montero, over to Reed. 15 on the shot clock. Jerice Harris from way downtown is good. That's what the boxers need. Get him going here. And Montero blocks it out with emphasis. Yeah, nice job by Montero putting his arms up. Once he put his hands up, the ball was right there for him to block. Offensive foul against Number 15, Andrew Analyst. Yeah, that's the second play in a row that Montero has made on defense. You'll see it right here, I think. 
Oh, here's a nice little J. Harris from three. All bottoms. Avon Reed in for Terry. Terry lost it, rolling out of bounds, and Cambridge will take over. A minute 30 to go in the first quarter, 18 to seven. The Falcons on top. This one air mailed. So right now the, the Brockton press is having an effect on the Cambridge uh, players. God West is coming out of the game. I make up no names. All of these are legitimate names on the Cambridge roster. There is some toughies. I apologize in advance for the butcher job that I'm bound to do on them. Eldon Terry to the hoop and it's good off the glass. Yeah, nice job by Terry using the glass. Terry's gonna get called for a push here. I don't think anybody in the gym saw it except the ref. Analyst able to break the Brockton press. And now Terry blocks it out of play. It's Kai Smith trying to get it to Analyst. Yeah, Terry has come into this ball game and gave the boxers a little energy. The boxers tonight are back to full strength for the first time in a few weeks as Harris loses it out of play, but it will remain Brockton ball as it was touched by Hakan West. Yeah. Box is really doing a good job with the press. Discussion over the shot clock. It should not have been reset. They're going to, are they gonna leave the 30 seconds up there? Kai Smith is called for a hold on Eldon Terry. Getting a little chippy out there in, with Eldon and uh, number 35 for the for Cambridge. Crowd getting a little restless here at Staff Gymnasium as Abu Kaba out to Montero. Montero loses it, regains his composure to Juris Harris. Way downtown, it's good! Wow, you're right, way downtown with somebody on him in his face, and he hits the big three. Draws the boxers back within two possessions. And a big block, this one. Kai Smith off the glass and in, shot clock off, 17 seconds to go in the quarter. It's 20 to 12, Falcons on top, but the boxers are charging. Harris working his way in, throws it to Kaba, to Montero, from way downtown, and it's good! Wow, that's a big shot. As the buzzer sounds, it's 20 to 15 at the end of the first quarter. Cambridge is up, but the boxers are clawing their way back in. Yes, yeah, nice to see Montero make that shot. He hasn't made a lot of them from the outside this season, but that was a good booster, morale booster for the boxers. You might see it right now on the replay. Harris's step back. Oh, this is Harris's shot. All bottoms. Hey, Miles, he <laughs> shot that one from Forrest Ave. Yes, he did. And that's what the boxers needed to do to, to get back into this game. Only down by five points. Start of the second quarter, man. Well, Miles, Falcons and teams of that name know something about blowing a big lead. Yes, they do. So, uh, And I'm sure they know about it. But the game changer as far as uh, the boxers getting back in this game has been the full court press initiated by uh, Coach Bowen. And um, has this uh, Cambridge team a little bit rattled. And here's Montero with his shot. Big shot here with not much time left on the clock. Oh. Coming into the second quarter. Is Montero with the big three. Again, nice to see him hit that shot. 
We have not yet seen Tejan Glenn Darty. If you remember at the end of the last game, about 13 seconds left, he was subbed out for and just about refused to come off the floor. Coach Bowen not happy with that one. So he doesn't get the start tonight. Navon Reed working his way in. Off the glass, no good. Rebound to the Falcons. And a, a foul called against Montero's call for the hold. This one out of play off of Navon Reed. Brockton. Seems like they're putting an emphasis on clogging the passing lanes regardless on whether the ball goes out of play or not. Yeah, and you can see it's frustrating the guards, especially for Cambridge. There it is again, Kaba tipping that inbounds pass. Oh. Montero hit the floor. Now this is God West. Eight on the shot clock, a three for Whoa, wow. Hakan West is good. Wow. 23-15. That's about his third or fourth three-pointer from out there, Mad Dog. Reed inside for Terry. Terry to Harris, quick release, three is no good off the back of the rim. Kaba offensive rebound. And now Abu Kaba resetting the boxers offense. Out to Harris, open shot, three, no good. Eldon Terry grabbing this rebound. Now Abu Kaba with a fresh shot clock. Kaba going in and out over to Navon Reed. Reed works his way in. Little floater, a couple bounces off the rim, no good. Eldon Terry got the rebound. His shot unsuccessful and out of play on another putback attempt by Navon Reed. And now wholesale changes for the boxers. Darius Lee, Marcel Lee Charles, Tishon Glendardi, and Azor. All back in the game. Yeah, Boxer's doing a good job fighting for that offensive uh, rebound. Getting second and third attempts. Going to the bucket, no good. Might have been tipped by Glenn Darty. Yeah, he definitely has something to do with that shot being altered. Louis Charles, turn around, three off the glass and in. Wow, that was quickly off the gas. Quickly off the glass, that shot. It didn't take no time to get into the basket. Timeout called by head coach Lance Dotton. The boxers again down by five. You see it right here. Just a spin around. Boom. Off the glass and in. No mistake by Marcinal Louis Charles. Well, again, it's 6.17 on the clock. Boxers only down by five points. But they got to find a way to stop West, number four. He's got about four three-pointers at least. And um, Cambridge, not necessarily a big team. Kai Smith is 6'6". Six, six. He is easily the tallest member of the Falcons. Michelle Shirley, the junior center, 6'5". We have not yet seen him tonight. This is Analyst down low to Senazar. Loose ball. And out of play off of Cambridge. Brockton's going to take over. Wow. As soon as I said we haven't seen Shirley, here he, here he is replacing Jaziah smith Best. Azor working his way inside, hard off the glass, but fouled by Shirley. Yeah, Azor did a nice job going up for the shot, realized he was going to be fouled and, take, and taking, attempting a shot and got fouled and uh, is at the free throw line. No good on his first attempt. So you can see him right there. He just throws it up there yes. smartly. That was a smart play. Shirley was moving his feet around, which is instant grounds for a block. Yes. 0 for 2, something not usually said about Marcus Azor. And an excellent dish to Jalen Lee by Glenn Darty. Loose on the floor. 
And with nowhere to go with it, it's gonna be out of play off of Brockton. Glenn Darty touched it on the ground. Brockton sending Azor the long man back as continuing to push the full court pr press, excuse me. As Analyst misses a two. Azor hands off to Darius, now to Lee. Lee for a long two, it's good. Ooh. Nice touch by Lee. He has a very soft touch. One possession game as Louis Charles is going to be called for a hit. It's 23 to 20. Miles, the boxers were at one point down by 12. Yeah, and defense has got, gotten them back in this ball game. Tough defense. Con West to Shirley. Shirley overhead for God West. West to Senazar, trying to plead his case inside for a foul, isn't gonna get it. Glenn Darty with the rebound. Yeah, nice defense by the boxes. Louis Charles all the way in, foul, down it in. One from Austin to Louis Charles, and a chance to tie this ball game. Yeah, nice job by Louis Charles. I don't know if this, if this is the, yeah, you see he saw the uh, green light to go in the paint, and nice little finger roll, and got fouled. Tie ball game. Nice job by uh, Charles that he uh, saw the uh, opening. 23 to 23 with 440 left in the second quarter. And Azor coming up with the block. Jump ball is going to be called. And Kai Smith is going to come back into the game replacing Michelle Shirley. Oak and Lola comes in replacing Tejan Glendardi. Yeah, Tejan did a nice job while he was in there. Disrupted a number of uh, Cambridge Latin offensive plays. Darius good and the boxers have their first lead of the game. Yeah, nice job by the box. Again, defense. She's God West. And kicked out, heads up. Kicked by Louis Charles right into the scorer's table. We have some. Yeah, and, and the postman even got the an postman act, got, got an hand action. on that. <laughs> he looked like a that goalie poor, a little bit. Poor Pringle scan. <laughs> the postman looked like one of them uh, NHL NHL goalies blocking the puck. <laughs> Mike went into the butterfly, stuck his glove. Yeah, out stuck there. his glove out there. He was ready. All the way in and throwing it down is Senazar. The 6'3 guard in. It's back to 25-25. Yeah, that was good defense by uh, the Falcons on, on Azor. Foul is going to be called on Louis Charles. A reach in on Adrian Williams. That puts the Falcons in a one and one shooting situation. Abu Kaba is going to come in for Louis Charles. Good on his first attempt to earn the second is Williams. That gives the Falcons back the lead, 26 to 25, 338 to go in the second quarter. Miles, after the way the first quarter started out for the boxers, who thought that by the end of the first half, we'd see ourselves in a very competitive game? Well, we know, I'm not surprised when, when Coach Bowen went with that uh, full court press and after seeing what it, how it disrupted the um, Falcons in the first couple minutes, I knew that they're bound to get back into this game before the first half ends. 
This one tipped to Kaba off the glass and in. Yeah, nice defense by Kaba. He read that perfectly. Oak and Lola coming up with the steal on that one. Down low off the glass and in for Senazar. Yeah, nice job by uh, Cambridge to break the press right there. Kaba three off the front of the rim, no good. Gets his own rebound and he oh, fouls where's his the foul? shot, Miles. Where's the foul? He was mugged. Nice, nice he job. He put it off the glass yeah. and it should have been a three point opportunity yeah. for Abu Kaba. He did do a nice job following his shot. He got rewarded for following his shot. Oak and Lola coming up with the block but is going to be called for a foul on Kai Smith. And that was a good foul by Oak and Lola. Made the uh, Cambridge player miss his shot. So he's got to earn it at the free throw line. Wholesale changes again for the boxers. Montero, Reed, Harris, and Eldon Terry coming into the game. Azor, Oak and Lola, Lee, and Dos Santos come out. Usually not a strategy we see employed by Coach Bowen. Changing out the entirety of the team at the same time. Navon Reed had a wide open three, instead tried to drive it inside. Yeah, what I think Coach Bowen is trying to do is put in fresh troops to have this boxer team keep running all game and maybe try to tire out this Falcon team later on in the uh, ball game. Montero stopping, popping too good. Yeah, Montero's feeling it tonight. He's really looking good shooting that basketball. Terry coming up with the tip. Abu Kaba down low, fouled in the air. He'll be at the line for a couple of shots. Yeah, nice defense. I think this is Montero making his move to the basket. Oh, nice shake and bake. 31 to 29. Boxers on top. Now make it 32. Kaba good on his first attempt. Two at two at the line. The Boxers with their first two possession lead of the game. 33 to 29 the score. And we've got a foul called here on Navon Reed. That's gonna go against Abu Kaba for the holds. Yeah, uh, Reed made a great play. Defensive play, had the ball, just couldn't put it back up in that basket. And then ended up fouling the uh, Cambridge player. Glenn Darty's gonna come back in for Abu Kaba. Boxers up by four, 33 to 29 with two minutes to go in the first half. Thirty-three to thirty, Brockton on top by three, and Elgin Terry uncontested rebound of Jakaios Neal. His free throw attempt. For any of those wondering how to spell that young man's name, J H K Y O S, Jakaios. Jakaios. Nice job. One forty six to go. Boxers up by three. Now Reed coming away with the steal, trying to force it to Terry. And Hakan West comes up with the ball. Harris kicking it out of play, fresh shot clock. Yeah, Box is really giving the uh, Cambridge team fits with this full court press. Boxes have two of their taller players out there. This one thrown into Navon Reed's arms Ooh, to the corner. Wow. Harris comes up with a loose ball. Nice rejection there. Dries Harris to Montero, way downtown, three off the front of the rim, no good. And I think Terry's gonna be called for a foul here. Oh, 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 
Terry is indeed called for the hold. Glenn Darty and Eldon Terry on the floor for the first time in about three weeks. Usually it's one or the other and then Glenn Darty missed a game and Terry missed a few games. So Jalen Lee is going to come back in the game for Brockton with 1.11 to go in the first half. No good on his first attempt is Jonathan Senazar, the 6'3 senior co-captain. Yeah, he's, he's a tough player. You can tell when he gets underneath, he's tough to stop, uses his whole body to gain advantage on the defensive player to put that ball in the basket. Very physical ball player. Senazar, one of two. And two he, point ball game. He has a very nice touch at the free throw line for a big man. Montero to Lee, Lee pump fakes, now takes a very long two, no good. And to number 23, Jakias Neal. Three from the corner, this one in and out. Jump ball called, but Glenn Darty was hammered. You could hear the smack from yeah. here. And the refs missed. Yeah, they missed that one. This has been a very physical game for the boxes. Now Neal's gonna be called for a block, or a hit, rather. Yeah, Montero's got about six inches on uh, number 23, Neal. One-on-one -on -one shooting situation for the boxers. Yeah, with 40 seconds left, you want to make these free throws. Lane violation. Oh, they're going to call a foul. It's going to go against Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty. wow. Oak and Lola is going to come in to replace the boxers' big man. Now a double bonus situation for the Falcons. The shots are going to be taken by Ben Dealey. Good on his first attempt. Okanlola comes in. Glenn Darty takes a seat on the bench. Lee coming down with the rebound. There's 10 seconds between shot clock and game clock. 33 left in the quarter, and 20 left for the boxers to shoot. Double dribble against Harris. 27.2 left, and the Falcons have a chance to waste out the remainder of the clock, and if things go according to plan, they will take a lead into the break. This is Neal. Jakias over to Dealey, who loses it out of bounds, and the clock stops with 17.6. Yeah, that, that ball had a little mustard on it, but he should have held on to it. He was wide open underneath. That would have been an easy two. 15 seconds to go. Brockton now is going to waste out the remainder of the first half. Jose Montero Jr. with it. Five left. Montero. Long two, good, as the buzzer sounds. And the boxers take a 35 to 32 lead into halftime. Miles, this one started out slow for the boxers. They really put their foot on the gas pedal. Yeah, they did, and they put the D on the gas pedal as in defense to get them back in this ball game and actually have a three-point lead going into the half. There was a turning point in the middle of that first quarter. Brockton, instead of going man-to-man, -man, put on a full court press. That's the turning point, and now they find themselves with a lead after being down 12 in the first quarter. Yeah, the full court press, basically what it did to Cambridge was disrupt their offensive flow for this ball game at the moment. It's 35 to 32, Brockton on top of Cambridge in a battle of two top 15 ranked teams. Brockton's got the lead. We're gonna step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. 
It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's <laughs> life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi babe, how was school today? Hi Dad, it was great. Okay honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in. Because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between two top 15 ranked teams, the 12th seeded Cambridge Ringe and Latin Falcons and the two seed Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, again, started off slow and just the same as it did in the first half, the Falcons are off to a quick run. Yeah, West starts off hitting a the three. Then uh, Reliable Azor, who's really good at keeping that basketball safe, just gave up an early uh, turnover. It was 35 to 33. It is now 37 to 35 in favor of the Falcons. Get a couple of quick buckets to start this half. Okanlola down low. Oh. And it's good. Nice little baby hook. All tied up at 37. Yeah, he powered that hook in the basket. Senazar down low, foul. Yeah, Azar, I'm sure he's in foul trouble now. Your first half leaders for the Falcons, no surprise, Akon West, 12 points. Senazar, 10 points and a rebound for the Boxers. Montero Jr. leading the charge with seven. Juris Harris and Abu Kaba each have six. Kaba the closest to a double-double with four rebounds. And Montero back in the game replacing Marcus Azor. Good at the line is Senazar. Yeah, Senazar showing his skills at the free throw line. He does not miss many at the charity strike. Harris three from the top of the key, and it's good. Ooh. His third of the game. Nice to see Harris start off early on in this second half. This one bouncing around. Jalen Lee comes up with it. He's in alone. Count it in. One for Jalen Lee. Wow, what an athletic move after he was fouled. He somehow adjusted his body and did a little whirly twirl and put that ball nicely off the glass. You'll see it right here on the replay. Look at that. The Miles word of the day. That's a, a highlight. Whirly twirl. Whirly twirl. I'm getting like Johnny Most, the legend. <laughs> Fiddle and diddle. Three points for Jalen Lee, 43 to 39. The score brought it on top. Senazar down low is good. A little breakdown in defense right there. Six and a half to go in the third quarter. 43-41, Jalen Lee in and out. Hit from behind, called on Andrew Analyst. 
Jalen Lee's got a quick release to the basket. Very lightning fast. Going to the hole, and he's at the free throw line. Something about Boston coaches. They're all very, very super emotional. intense, yeah. emotional, and, yes. animated. Coach Lance Dotton called Andrew Analyst over after he committed that reach from behind and said, and I quote, he beat you to the basket. So what are you going to do? Are you going to reach behind him and follow him? You got beat. Take it. Take it like a man? Yeah. You get beat, you get beat. Fair and square. It's Analyst with the ball now. Down low to Senazar, and Harris comes Ooh. up. Nice job. By, yeah, play. nice job by Harris. Not fouling the big man, but deflecting that pass out of bounds or knocking it out of his hands without fouling him. Montero just got beat by Hakan West. Now Analyst to Kai Smith. His shot no good. Loose ball picked up by Analyst, and he's fouled on the way up by Jalen Lee. Even though that was a foul, that was good defense by the boxes, making Cambridge work very hard inside for the ball for the basket. So they'll have to earn it at the charity stripe. And uh, the big man's been pretty good at the charity stripe today. Good on his first attempt is Senazar. And two or two at the line. And Senazar is having a good night. Senazar is six of seven at the charity stripe tonight. Montero Jr. down low, and it's stuck between the rim and the backboard. This will remain at Brockton basketball after it got stuck. Here it is on the replay. Montero Jr., <laughs> not enough on it. Exactly. It lost energy going up, and it's just nicely nestled in between the rim and the uh, backboard. <laughs> now Coach Dotton's got his head down in a little bit of shame. He said, why is there a shot clock reset? Well, technically speaking, that shot did hit the rim. Exactly. Play of the game so far, Oak and Lola with that spinorama hook shot. He's hit it now for a fourth time tonight. Harris comes up with the loose ball and this one's getting scrappy out there as Abu Kaba loses it into the bench. Timeout called by the Falcons. It's 46 to 43, the boxers on top with 513 to go in the third quarter. This one's turning into a classic miles. Yeah, it's getting very in intense out there. You can you can tell just by that last pass. Good defense by the boxes, but as they were coming down, they were just so hyped up. A little bit too much mustard on the pass, but Brockton's getting real. You want them to be intense. You don't want them to be low key. Be intense, but uh, make sure that you uh, connect on the plays. With the stoppage, there's a birthday in the house tonight. Janet Diver, the Assistant to Athletic Director Kevin Cairo. Very helpful to Brockton Community Access. Janet, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you for the cake. White's Bakery, excellent job. Go down and visit them on Pearl Street. And happy birthday, Janet. Montero clogging the passing lane, knocking this one out of play. It's Hakan West has it tipped by Abu Kaba. Down low to Kai Smith off the glass and in. Ooh, that was too easy underneath for the big guy. 
Oaken Lola Montero. Montero comes away with it. Montero to Oaken Lola. Couple of boxers and the boxers having very big communication problems on that. Big position. time, big time communication problems. They need to refocus. Abu Kaba called for the hit on Hakan West. Adrian, you can't be 50 feet from us. Intercepted by Jose Montero Jr. And now Montero to Jerez Harris. Down low for Oaken Lola off the glass and in. We have an injured Falcon on the floor. Well, I tell you, that was a beautiful dish by, by uh, Harris to Okanola, who put in a nice little layup. Great defense by Montero. And when you have great defense, you got to take you got to take advantage of the uh, offense. There it is, right there. And that that play was scored off of the great defense by Montero. And that is Adrian Williams who cannot move his right arm. Hopefully he'll be okay. Go, go get it. It's going to remain a Cambridge basketball. See, one advantage that Brockton has when they put on this press, they've got players that have long arms, so it's going to make it even tougher for the offense to uh, execute trying to get down to the court, into the, down to the other end of the court. God to... Hakan, and now back to God West, over to Hakan West. And losing it, picked up by Samuel Darius. Darius to Lee for three, in and out. But Darius in the right place at the right time, grabs the rebound, back to Lee, now to Montero Jr. Inside for Tejon Glenn Darty, and he's fouled on his way to the bucket. Nice now job by Glenn Darty, go up. Why he was blanketed on defense. Smart play by Darty to go up knowing that there was a body on him. See it right here, posts, and goes right up and gets fouled. And that's what a big man, that's what you want to do. You get inside that paint, get close to the basket like that, go up with the ball, especially when you know the defensive man is all over you. That is the third personal foul on the night for Andrew Analis. As Glenn Darty makes his first attempt, back into the game is Adrian Williams. He replaces Analyst. Forty-nine to forty-five. It's a four-point edge for the boxers. Glenn Darty not able to make it five as we have a lane <coughs> violation against the boxers. Right, another foul. This one's going to go against Jerese Harris. Well, they called it on. They called it on 13, but Harris isn't on the floor. So maybe they meant Terry, number 31, 31. I'm thinking it went against Navon Reed, number 33. 33. What did he do? But it might have gone. Might have gone against Terry, 31. We got the hidden numbers crisscrossed. Hey. Armbar called against Cambridge. God West comes up with it. Uncontested layup is good. Wow. That was a quick play. Quick move by the small Cambridge guard. God West, the 5'8 junior. Now Samuel Darius. To Jose Montero Jr. is having an excellent night. Darius inside for Eldon Terry. You can hear the coach for Cambridge telling his boys to dig in on defense. Terry's going to be called for a reach-in on Kai Smith. 3.02 to go in the third quarter, 49-47. Yeah, Terry knows it. He knows he committed that and really wasn't necessary. And he knows it. He's going to come off, take a rest. Come up, God. See 
Oaken Lola in for Terry. Glenn Darty coming up with the steal. Now Oaken Lola sends it out to Jose Montero Jr. to Darius. Samuel Darius hands off to Navon Reed. Reed working his way in foul. Midair, he should be at the line for a couple of shots. Are they gonna they say not in wow. the act of shooting? Wow. Azor is gonna come back in for Montero. Glenn Darty down low, Oaken Lola pump fake for three. Works his way inside, off the glass, no good. Kai Smith with the rebound. Yeah, I think Oaken Dola got away with a travel. And this is gone west to Senazar off the glass and in. Azor up to Darius. 18 points on the night for Senazar. He just tied the ball game at 49. That was a nice move by number 23, Samuel Darius, to the left, to his left. He was able to put the ball up and get fouled. You'll see it right here, going to his left, and it's fouled. Almost made the shot. Darius, two at two at the line, 51 to 49 the score. Guy West sends it over to Senazar. Now Hakan West to Kai Smith. God for three is good. Wow. Nice shot there. Azor to Navon Reed driving baseline. He's fouled midair by Adrian Williams. There's Reed. There's the hold right there. Right there, yeah. Reed good on his first attempt to earn the second. Louis Charles, Jalen Lee in. They replace Darius and Oaken Lola, respectively. Missing on his second attempt was Reed. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, yes, travel. Travel called against God West, who's got his face in his palms. How can you make a face like that? Like, I didn't travel. That was obvious travel. Maybe he, he couldn't believe he traveled. Let's see right here. There's one, two, one, two three, 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 slides. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a travel. Yeah. Lee off the glass, Glenn Darty ripping the rebound off the rim. Out to Azor, Azor driving inside, out of nowhere! Finger roll! Finger roll was good. Nice job by Azor. By his, might be his first two points of the evening. But a nice job. It is indeed, indeed Azor's first points on the evening. Pick the ball up! Ball. God West comes up with it. And off to Senazar. Under a minute to go. You now with 50 seconds in the third quarter. West absolutely stuffed by about three Brockton boxers. Wow. Able to draw the foul. Gee. Gonna go against Jalen Lee. Gee, I tell you, number 35 Smith went in there like a bowling ball to get that offensive board and just bowled over everybody, including his own players. Might see it here on the replay. Nice defense there by the uh, boxers, but right here, he just, that should have been an offensive foul. I don't know, he just knocked Azor down to the ground. No call. Nice replay. We got down to Aaron, is Aaron Tebow down there? Aaron Tebow is our fearless director tonight. They're doing a nice job. 
Nice job. More on the crew in approximately 35 seconds. Hey, 54-52, Brockton on top. Navon Reed picking up the loose ball. Seven on the shot clock, now five. Azor with it, he's gonna get a shot off here. Sending it out, one second on the shot clock. Lee's Bang. three, oh. no good. Almost. Did hit the rim, preventing a shot clock violation. Louis Charles now with nine seconds to go. Reverse layup off the glass wow. and in from Marcinal Louis Charles. That was not an easy shot. Two seconds left, Ooh. Brent Darty comes up with a block to end the quarter. It's 56 to 52, boxers on top of Cambridge, Ringe, and Latin. Miles, we got a good one. Yes, definitely so. Both teams are playing um, very aggressive defense, very physical ball game. You can see Luis Charles there. That's a tough shot right there. He's going away from the basket and somehow flips it up there with his, with his athleticism and makes the, an important shot to end that third quarter. Well, this is a big game, and with that comes a big production. This is a joint production of the Brockton High School Television Production Club and Brockton Community Access Sports. Don't know all the kids' names, but at the helm we have the prolific cinematographer Aaron Tebow directing the ship tonight. Next to him on instant replay, we have Newbie's nephew. Newbie's nephew. Giovanni. He's doing a nice job down there in the, uh, on the replay. I believe we have Kayla on graphics slash audio. Up on camera, we've got Chris, Katya Andrade. We'll work on getting the other camera person's name. Chief statistician, Mike the Postman Simmons, yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. And you are hearing the sultry sounds of big game Miles Jackson and myself. The Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. You know, every time you say sultry sounds, I think of Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> it's the goal, old school DJ. Senazar is good off the glass and in. Senazar's got 20 points on the evening now. Yeah, he's showing his leadership. Glenn Darty thought about the two drives. Baseline. I believe a kickball on the boxers. Go forward, Joe! Con West go. across half court. And blocked out of play by Louis Charles. Yeah, Louis Charles has really done a good job slapping that ball away on defense. He likes to keep his arms up, make things happen. West trying to get it to Hakan, instead finds Senazar, his two no good, but it winds up in the arms uh. of Kai Smith. No travel? They're gonna call an arm bar against Kai Smith. That was great defense by the boxers. They hit two men on him with their arms out, blocking all passing lanes. If that's what you wanna do, if you're gonna trap, use those arms to block out the passing lanes. You might see it right here. Well, it's Don calling a timeout, going after centers, are saying, that's your game now, that's your game now. Harris leading all boxers with nine points, followed by Okinola with eight. Montero Jr.'s got seven, Jalen Lee has eight, as well as Marcinal Louis Charles. For the Falcons, it's really a two-man ship. 20 for Senazar, 15 for Hakan West, and five for God West. Brothers? That I do not know, I don't think so. Take some confidence to name your kid God. It does, a lot of confidence. I'm sure he's heard it growing up. God, wow. That is one of the, it's a handful of names on the Cambridge roster that I looked at the roster and I was like, oh, you gotta be <laughs> kidding me, I don't get paid <laughs> enough for this. <laughs> Senazar was one, Jakaius Neal, 
Ben Met Jerome. That's spelled B M E N E T G I R U M. And Michelle Shirley. Fifty-six to fifty-four. The score remains a two-point lead for the boxers. Azor to Reed. Trying to draw the call was Williams Glendardi underneath. He's going to be fouled by, I believe, Senazar. They're going to call it on Kai Smith. Third personal foul. Yeah, you can see uh, Reed there. Glenn Darty goes in strong and gets fouled. Now Lynn starting some problems with the officiating and the consistency of it, saying you just called it on us, so you got to call it on Brockton too. It's a push off an arm bar by definition. Glenn Darty makes it a four point ball game, 58 to 54. A Con West over to Williams. He works his way inside, gets stuffed all the way in a jump ball call. Ooh, great defense by the boxes. Brockton's going to take over. Andrew Analyst is going to come into the game for Adrian Williams. Yeah, nice job of the boxes. Defense collapsing right there in the red paint when Cambridge goes in there. Off limits right here for Cambridge. Nice defense by Glenn Darty and number 33, Reed. Freshman senior tandem. Louis Charles gets his own rebound, laying on his wow. backside. That was an unusual get it out play. To Azor. And Yvonne Reed driving baseline. I thought we were going to see a foul called on that play. No dice, Hakan West, three, no good. Azor grabbing the rebound over everybody. Jump. Louis Charles to Jalen Lee. Lee to Charles for three, it is no good. Senazar getting the rebound, but whistle. Hit across the arm, called on Kai Smith. His fourth personal foul. Yeah, nice job by uh, Glenn Darty to mix it up right underneath. He might have got hurt a little bit. Hey, match up, match well, here's up, where match it gets match fun. Josiah Smith Best is on the floor, replacing Kai Smith. He joins West, West, and Senazar. So the lineup for the Falcons in no particular order. Best, West, West, Senazar, and Analyst. Going on his first attempt is Glenn Darty to earn the second five point ball game with five and a half minutes to go. I tell you what, Darty's really feeling it at the free throw line, doing a nice job taking advantage of the charity stripe. Five of six at the line is the boxer's big man, Hakan uh, Godwest, excuse me. Pull up two, no good. Abu Kaba letting the rebound go uh, yep. play off of Cambridge. That was a nice smart play by Abu Kaba. Shot was blocked and he just shielded the, the ball from the Cambridge guys getting into him, let it go out. Go out of bounds. These are stopping Ooh. and popping. Two Bang. is good. Bang, nice shot. Nice defense, the crowd got into it when he sh uh, shook him. God could be Oh, keep foul, I mean, traveling. Look at that, nice little shake and bake, pop. Little JoJo White move from back in the 70s there, Mad Dog. I don't know if you know about JoJo White, legend for the Celtics. Um, may he rest in peace. May he rest in peace, exactly. Just passed away last week. Bought God a, could not keep up with Marcus Azar. No, he couldn't. JoJo bought a couple of 
championships to the uh, Celtics in the early 70s. And he's over to Harris to Kaba. And Kaba's called for the travel. Car Smith's going to come back into the game. Fox has got an eight-point lead with 4.48 left in the clock. What they have to do is really play smart basketball, use the clock to, to their advantage, and they just might come out of here with the win. Loose ball, a lot of play off of Cambridge. <laughs> Jakaius Neal into the game for God West. West is getting quite the stare down from Coach Daughton. Yes, he is. He is not happy with some of his players and their play this evening. Kaba gets around. Senazar a layup, too much mustard on it. Yeah, that was a beautiful Smith move. Down with the rebound. Now Ooh. analysts high off glass and it's good. Ooh. That was close to being a travel. 62-56, Boxers on top. And a timeout brought in 4.03 to go in the fourth quarter. It is 62-56, Brockton on top. This one's turned into a dandy, Miles. Yeah, it, it's it's really going to be a close one with 4:03 left in this uh, ball game. It's, it really will come down who will execute the best, because if you don't execute, you will um, you will lose, or there's a good chance you could lose. So you really got to execute as a team, especially when you have the lead on your home turf. You want to send this home, you want to send this crowd home happy. Busy week for Brockton Community Access Sports. Friday night, we're back here at Staff Gymnasium. The Lady Boxers take on the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans. And then next week, it is all Lady Boxers all the time. Tuesday night, Bishop Fian comes to town. Wednesday night, it is another Catholic school. Cambr um, Catholic Memorial? Girls team. Bishop Fian. Friday night, it's Durfee. There's a game Wednesday night. Get the Mad Dog research team on it. Azor with it to Jerry Harris. Notre Dame on Wednesday night. Cougars of Notre Dame Academy. Squished between the Bishop Fian Shamrocks and the Durfee Hilltoppers. And of course, Saturday we've got hockey over at AZ Arena. It's okay because there's no sporting event of any importance on next weekend anyway. Azor to Harris. Harris, a heave ho two point attempt. He was fouled by Hakan West. And that puts Brockton in a double bonus situation for the remainder of the 3.33 in this game. Yeah, you can see Harris go up for the jump shot and number four put his body on him. Glendardi's going to come back into the game. Glendardi's back into the game replacing Oak and Lola. And Harris to a two at the line. Analyst to Senazar off the glass and in. 64 to 58 the score, Brockton up by six. Excuse me, yeah, six, 64 to 58. 
Now Hakan West, it's three on one up court for the Falcons. Hakan West off the glass and in. 64-60, yeah. a four point edge for the boxers. Yeah, Azo did not do a good job again protecting that basketball. Timeout called by head coach Bob Bowen of Brockton, 64 to 60. The score, Brockton's up by four, and now it is Cambridge clawing their way back into it, Miles. Yeah, exactly what they're doing, they're clawing back into this thing with their, with their defense. Tough, they're really playing tough defense on our guards as they bring the ball past half court. They're really doing a, a nice job. Looks a little bit like a little hand checking, but referees are letting them play. So Brockton's got to work a little bit harder protecting that basketball when they get over half court. Don't, don't give Cambridge easy, easy um, defensive moves there and uh, gives them a chance to come down and uh, score another basket. They, like you said, they crept up, they crept back into this game and they're only down by four now with 2.52 left on the clock. Miles, well, this game has had tremendous swings. Talk about those different swings for each team. Yeah, and it basically the swings have been because of defense or just mental lapses, a little breakdown sometime. You know, the, you know, these are kids, and sometimes they have a little mental breakdown for a few minutes, but that might cost them five, six points. So they really have to focus in now. You're only talking two minutes, 56, 50 seconds left in this ball game. They can focus for those for that time left on the clock. Glenn Darty down low. Jalen Lee now in the corner, giving it to Jerese Harris. Off to Azor. Eight on the shot clock. Brockton's got to be aware how much time is on that shot clock. There's four seconds. Abu Kaba now two, he puts up a shot off the rim to reset the clock. Jalen Lee flying in, grabs the rebound, puts it up and in. Exactly, he flew right in there, moving to the basket when the ball was headed towards the basket. Nice job. Big basket too. Senazar to Analyst off the glass and in. Yeah, four points is not much with two minutes left in this ball game. Abu Kaba down low, finding a lane off the glass and in. Ooh, nice job there. Ooh, you can hear Coach Bowen telling his team to get back on defense. Senazar down low being double teamed by Azor and Harris. Now it's Kai Smith over to Hakan West. Hakan stopping pop two off the front of the rim. No good. Kai Smith grabbing the rebound. And he has it taken out of his hands by nice. Marcus Azor. Now Harris. As Brockton's going to play the clock game, Marcus Azor. Get Brockton's it. in a double bonus situation here. They could take a foul, but this is Jakai, uh, Jakaius Neal countered and won. Gee, that's like the third turnover by Azor in this second half. He's just not having a good game protecting that basketball. Coach Bowen telling his team to box out. That is the fourth personal foul on Abu Kaba as Neil converts it. Now one possession ball game, 68 to 65. The boxers on top, Marcus Azor with it, working against Jakaius Neil. Gives it over to Abu Kaba. Kaba wasting time off the clock. There'll be about a minute left at the end of this boxer's Stay possession. Kaba's floater off the glass, no good. Kai Smith grabbing the rebound off to Jakaius Neal. Over to Hakan West. Back to Smith, back to West. Back to Neal, now Senazar. Senazar driving baseline and had it tipped by Glenn Darty counted in one for Kai Smith. And Glenn Darty called for the hit. Yeah, nice job by Cambridge. Moving the ball around until they found somebody inside. Hey, hey. Going to the basket. Nice block out. Used, he used a little elbow, but no harm, no foul. Kai Smith with a chance to tie this game. No good. Glenn Darty with the rebound. Now Jakaius Neal calls for the block on Marcus Azor you know, and the Cambridge bench is fired up. They do not like that call. I think that's a good call because basically Azor has been harassed all evening. A good physical checking by the defender and finally 
finally, they finally call a defensive foul on, um, who was that on, number 23? I believe so. Hazer good on his first attempt. Yeah, but that, but that, you will see here on the replay. Yeah, there was some, there was some body just be, just as the, if we came on the video there. But I tell you, Azor's had a tough night because of tough defense by this Cambridge team on the guards. Coach John's going to be careful. He just crossed half court to yell at the officials. Well, it's only a three-point lead. I mean, does Cambridge have the ball, or do we get a? Or have we already shot the free throws? Seventy to sixty-seven. Okay, Brockton is up by three. There's 38.8 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Centers are leading the charge for the Falcons. 24 points for the senior co-captain of the Falcons. Yeah, he's having a blue, blue chip night here this evening. Jerese Harris leading the way for Brockton with 11 points, including Three shots from behind the arc. And two free throws. Go, now the ref threatening Coach Dotton, as you can see, with a tech. Yeah, now see. The Coach ref said, you made your point. I get it. It yeah. was a block. I'm the official, not you. And the ref's got his whistle, and there's a tech on Coach uh, Lance Dawn. Now that's a, that's, Def Coach should know better with the only a three-point lead by the boxes, and now he's put his team in peril if one of these shots are made. And Dawn's still going after the officials. He's going to be careful. He'll get another one and be tossed from yes. this game. Yes, yes. The entire Falcons coaching staff trying to restrain Lance Dawn as Kaba hits his first on the technical. And two and two, that's a big call on the Falcons. And, and Brockton has the ball with 33.4 seconds. Yeah, that, that's a big mistake by, by the coach for Cambridge to uh, get a, get it, let his emotions take over and cost his team, possibly cost his team this ball game. Coach Dodd is saying to the that's ref, what that's what you're gonna be remembered for. Now a quick foul on Senazar. Call for the hold on Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty's five of six at the charity strike. Probably not the boxer you wanted to foul. Well, t well I tell you, t t yeah, exactly, because he's having a great, great, great uh, free throw game today. Like you said, made five or six shots. Nice form this evening. Six point edge for the boxers and for the second straight. Game for the boxers here at Staff Gymnasium. It looks like, minus the slow start against Brighton and Cambridge, they will pull out the victory. Now, under 30 seconds to go. Hakan West and Abu Kaba's in alone, thinking dunk, get a one handed slam for Abu Kaba. Very nice defense there. Gets the crowd onto their feet. Analyst good for two, it's 75 to 69. A six point edge for the boxers with 10 seconds left. Miles, this one has completely swung the other direction. Yeah, and it swung because of defense. You saw it right there, Abu Kaba with, with the steal and, and the nice polite dunk to uh, extend this box a lead and basically seal the, seal the win this evening. You said it, nice and polite, quite the opposite of what head coach Lance Dodden has been in the last few minutes here. Specifically towards the officials, is he in the right or is he in the wrong to be arguing calls at this stage in the game and pleading his case so much that the officials gave him the tech? Well, if, if he was smart, sure, you can plead your, plead your case, but don't take it over the limit. Warnings. Well, that's the he thing. You don't take it over the, the limit, and what happens when you take it into that, to the twilight zone, most likely you're gonna get a tech. And that's what happened right there. And it's really, it was just really a, a dumb move by the coach because they were only down by three points when the tech was called. They had the ball. 
Azor fouled with 7.7 .7 left on the clock. Yeah, head coach uh, Lance Doughton. He's a good coach. I just thought he was a little bit smarter than that. Um, with his team right there in the thick of things with about, what, 40 seconds left on the clock. Hakan West's fourth personal foul, 7.7 .7 on the clock. Azor at the line, and Bob Bowen saying, do not foul. Azor good on his first attempt. That will pretty much wrap this one up. And Azor 2-2 two two at the line. West, three from the top of the key, no good. Rebound to Abu Kaba, the buzzer sounds, and the boxers move to 12 and 0 on the year, 77 to 69, an eight point victory for the boxers. Miles, let's go back to the fourth quarter. Brockton was down 14 to two. First quarter? First quarter, Brockton calls a timeout. They employ a full court press. Since then, it has been all Brockton. Yeah, that was a key move by Coach Bowen. He saw something and realized, I'm gonna have to do something to get back in this ball game. And what better way to get back in the ball game is to play great defense. And that's what got the boxes back into the ball game, kept them in the ball game, and in that fourth quarter, really put a lot of pressure on Cambridge as well as Cambridge coach because he got a tech with, with less than a minute to go in the ball game, only down by three points. So the defense of the boxes got in the heads of um, Cambridge and they came out of here with a win and still undefeated. Miles, what did it go wrong for the Falcons? They were in charge. Yeah, they, they were. Early on, they were in charge. But what happened was they lost it with, with the full court press by Brockton, by the Brockton boxes. They just couldn't handle that full court press. 76 to 69, the final score. The eight point victory for the boxers. And we're gonna hear from head coach Bob Bowen in just a minute. We need hair and makeup for head coach Bob Bowen. Coach, congratulations on the big win. Let's rewind to the first quarter. You're down by 10, 12 points. Probably the timeout employ full court press. Since then, you guys started clogging the passing lanes and really came back into this game. Yeah, we needed to get some energy there. Uh, Cambridge came out with a lot of energy and was uh, really taking the game to us. We had to change momentum, and uh, our press is very good. Well, in the latest stage of the game with the Falcons in foul trouble, head coach Lance Doughton argued his call, maybe a little bit too much, called for a tech. Where was the turning point in the fourth quarter where the Falcons started to get frustrated and you guys took advantage of that? Well, you know, they did a pretty good job. They didn't get too frustrated. I really thought they would be very tired. At halftime, I thought we really had them because they had worked so hard. But they held in there very well. I mean, right to the end there, I think we had the ball with a three-point lead when they hit him with the technical. Uh, it was right down to the end. They never stopped, and I really thought they were going to be dead. Coach, talk about the performance of Juris Harris, 11 points to lead the boxers, and Tejan Glendardi leading it with rebounds. Uh, well, Tashawn always rebounds well. He works very hard. Uh, Jarese had 11 tonight. Well, that's a little low for him, but they're starting to know who Jarese is, and they're really starting to make it hard for him to shoot. Uh, if Jarese led us with 11, we must have had a very balanced attack tonight, and that's what we're looking for. Coach, congratulations on the win, remaining undefeated.